Good day, fellas. I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill. And today we are going to play with the almighty guard. And in fact, I think the guard is kind of underrated vehicle, if I can say so. This mother trucker is a medium tank. Well, okay, USSR premium tier 8 medium tank with a very very nicely spanking gun although it is kind of a hybrid between the medium and tank destroyer right quick information for every single of you i believe you are aware of the index page you can raid the tanks nowadays over there as well and plus on top of that if for some reason index doesn't work for you clear your patch uh, and cookies or alternatively relogin and everything is going to be fine whenever we are pushing the new updates uh in to the index uh, there is a bit of the buggy situation going on and it is asking people to relog in uh, or alternatively to clear patch and cookies so keep this in mind thank you very much for understanding and i hope you are having as much fun as we do okay so um guard 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 how we can slap the enemies here now in this situation, we have a Lakeville and counter battle. I do not want to be that aggressive, you know? I do not want to be passive in this game, but I do not want to be too aggressive either. My whole goal over there is to spank every and each mother trucker. Oh, that was a beautiful shot. Who is um, playing aggressively in the middle. I think this is the most important thing what we can do and what we need to work for. Also on top of that, I am pretty sure I know where the light tank is. If you would pay attention over there, you would notice there is no tree left. What that means? That means the light tank is sitting in this position. I am pretty sure about this and that basically means we should be able to slap the living crap out of him and he is going to go to the garage. Ooh, Leo. Very, very, very strong mother tracker. Not much what I can change about this. I am feeling all right. I know he is sniping uh, around the corner. I am very, very well aware of that. But it changes absolutely nothing for us. So all we need to do, we need to go for a blind shot over there. I believe we can punish him. And obviously we have hit this light tank before as well. Maybe... Maybe I want to go once again. Opa good i want him to run i mean there is a pixel yeah i said it's accurate right hard 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 start for us extremely hard start for us now as you can see i am not being too involved into this game I don't feel like uh, playing with guard means you are going in the first line and spanking the living crap out of the enemies unless you are a top tier. If you are top tier, obviously you can be significantly more aggressive and you can make... Uh, um, quite a bit more pressure but whenever you are bottom tier i just simply do not see the point why would i uh, go in the front line and after that you know say ay, 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 ay. and as you can see this leo spanked us um, quite well and there is nothing what i could have done about that well after i got spot and maybe i could escape from that but that's about it Anyways, I have a feeling that our team is definitely winning this side. That being said, what we are going to do, we are going to give uh, this Leo Pata his own medicine. He slapped us before. I want to slap him myself now. This is what I want to do. Uh, by the way, the main question is, will our team understand that they uh, they need to make a hardcore pressure over there, otherwise it's going to be no bueno. I can see this Iron Army, I can see this E75, I can see this Char Futur. I am very, very well aware of what is happening over there, so I need to be very, very, very smart how am I going to play this game. Now, if Leopata is smart, he will try to escape, and apparently he is trying to escape. But the, to be fair with you, I think um, he has no chance to run away from here. At least I do not really think so. Beautiful. Very, very nice. Now, we are controlling the middle. Our team is putting a bit of the cap pressure towards the enemies, and our team is controlling the mid here. Beautiful. Very, very, very nice. I really like how the situation is looking like. 
Um, I think we are going to be very successful in this game because game for us just starts now, if that makes sense, right? Th this game just starts for us now. Now, whenever this is C will get spotted, we should have his side, and our ELC even will make sure to spot him. Plus, on top of that, whenever enemies will make pressure like this, we should have a decent enough angle to shoot them as well. This is exactly what I am looking for. What a beautiful gun this is, I'm telling you. Um, on the paper, it doesn't look that great, I am very, very well aware of that, but in reality, this gun is treating us very, very, very nicely. And I remember whenever I played for Mark of Excellence with this tank on my uh, tryhard account, I felt like the gun treated me way too nice. Hmm. I can see enemies making pressure through the middle of the field. I am very, very well aware of that. But you know what? That is okay. In this situation, all we need to do, we need to eliminate the guns left, right, and center. And right? as you can see, we are securing this position to the best of our abilities. Right? We are slapping enemies left. We are slapping enemies right. That's all we need to do in this game. And our team captured the base. This is kind of sad to be fair with you. The main reason why am I saying it is sad. Because there was so much more damage to farm. But I believe it shows what guard can do pretty well. So once again, you are a medium tank. You have a bit of the armor against the lower tiers, but um, you know you need to have a chrome will be shooting you uh, for a full happiness. And other than that, long range shots are working fine. If you will adapt to the shell velocity, everything will be okay. I hope to get one lower tier matchmaking as well, just to show uh, that in the lower tier matchmaking guard can play quite aggressively, right? Anyways, 2.6 thousand damage, actually more likely 2.6 7,000 damage, 600 assisting damage, that is okay. We are second by experience, we are third by the damage, uh, and we made 148,000 credits, although most of them are coming from completing the mission. It's okay, let's go. Okay, fellas, uh, Malinovka, tier 8, much, tier 6 matchmaking, this is very, very good. Listen, I'm going with a spotting build, I have CVS, I have uh, um, optics, I have more camo. Yeah, I sacrificed the gun handling quite a bit over there, but I don't really think it makes any difference whatsoever. And we are going to go to the typical standard bush to play. Now, this is going to be glorious. Uh, but skill, you said whenever you are going to have a good matchmaking, you are going to make a hardcore pressure. You are 100% correct about this. I definitely said that. But there is moments when it's just simply not worth it. And in Kampinovka, I have a feeling we are going to have significantly more use by um, spotting for our team and by being uh, uh, aggressive in a bit uh, different way, if I can say so. I think this is the right way to do the things. Meanwhile, as you can see, Dicker Max is sitting over there, Liz is sitting over there. We are sitting very, very well. At this point, all I want to see, I want to see this Dicker Max making a mistake. By the way, this Skoda is getting spotted by our T-37, which is completely fair and square. It is completely fine. Meanwhile, Light Tank, unfortunate fate for a Mr. Light Tank. There is nothing what he can change about this and we are okay. Listen, I am ready to shoot the Dicker Max whenever he will get spotted. As you can see, Dicker Max got spotted, we fired. I don't care that I am spotted here because I can sneak into that bush anytime I want. And in fact, looking into all of this, 12 seconds passed and I'm going into the same bush once again. Skill, why would you risk like this? The thing is, it's lower tier matchmaking. And in the lower tier matchmaking, it is kind of simple for me to play, right? I know I am a top dog, uh, top dog in the field. I know I have uh, um, quite a bit of the hit points, right? So to the certain extent, I definitely have an advantage over there. And all of those um, lower tiers, well, unfortunate. What can I say? 
A hashtag never lucky, if you know what I mean. Beautiful shot to this Škoda. Uh, apparently, I'm not spotted unless I am spotted all the time, which I really doubt I am, to be fair with you. Yes, yeah, you can see Mr. Shrek is going for a blind shots. That being said, we are sitting very, very, very well here. Now, alternative option for us would be to get involved through the middle and to counter um, to counter Dicker Max like this, right? That would be the alternative option. But you know what? I do not really think it's worth it. I think I am relocating at this point. That's fair and square. I think it is a good decision. But my mission will be to take the Charlie 5 line. Why so? Um, I think it is just... I did not even click the second button over there. How this happened? I am moving to Charlie 7. Okay, never mind. I thought uh, the game has the um, function whenever you are saying the position and uh, randomly it's pinging over there. You know, World of Tanks in 2027, what can I say? Um, uh, we're gaming? Think about it. Think about it, how good that would be. We are too lazy to click the button nowadays. Nowadays, we want to have everything automated, like everything. Liz, beautiful. How are you doing this fine day? Oh, come on. Miss Kuzi. Mr. Guard. Do not disappoint me like this. That was mean. I mean, I get the point that I do not have the uh, DPM set up and I did not uh, tune it up my gun handling and everything, but that was just mean, I would say. I am getting punished for my suggestions for our gaming. Sorry, Dad, no more. Okay, this is the position where we are going to hang out for a moment. Why so? Because I think we can actually make it work very, very well. I think this is the right play for us. And what I want to see, I want to see this M6. Although, to be fair with you, I know, wait a second. Tie 59 never been spotted, so Tie 59 is sitting on the top over there. And M6 is sitting on top here as well. Listen, I am thinking how to get involved because I am, I am a top dog in the field after all, right? This is what I am thinking. And you know what? I think it is about the time to go. First of all, I am going to take this position and I will try to slap the list. I think this is the correct way to do the things. If it happens to be that enemies will be aggressive towards the Tiger P, I will be nearby and I will support the Tiger P. So it is not the worst thing either. And now... We need to have a decent enough angle. Tie 59, I can see that Tie 59, don't you worry, I am paying attention at him. No gun depression. How to get involved in this game? How to get involved? This is a hard one. Mr. Liz and Mr. Shrek. Shrek over there. I'm slapping the Shrek. Yeah, unfortunately with this setup, it feels like the gun is significantly weaker. But I cannot really complain about this. At least I do not really think I can and I don't really think I should. Meanwhile, Type 59 he has a lot of HP. He can play hold down relatively well. Yeah, that is that is a rough game, but you know what? I like it. Believe me or not, I like it. Eliminating the gun from the game. Nice, excellent, very, very good. Uh, next victim is going to be this list. Since he is down to fartable, we should be able to send him to the garage without asking his name. Although, you have way too many hit points. I need to take 50% of that. Thank you. Okay, as you can see, step by step, little by little, I have no doubts that we are winning this game. I have no doubts we are. 
all we need to do, we need to be smart with our approach, how we are going to, um, how we are going to make pressure here. Beautiful, we have Mr. Borat over there, that's very, very nice. But you know what, I care about this panther, maybe I could slap him, sure I can. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful guard. I like this tank, fellas, I truly do. I found it, um, like a hidden gem. Okay, what do we have? Chito never ever been spotted and uh, Yoh tank is lurking somewhere in the shadows as well. How about this panther? Don't kill my Borat. Borat is important. Don't you dare. Well, sorry mate. I try to do my best, okay? I try to support our guy as much as I physically and possibly could. Now, watch this shot. This is going to be glorious. Told you. How about this Cheeto? Do we have a good enough angle for him? I would say we should. Let's take our time to aim and kaboom. What a beautiful tank. It truly feels nice. Don't get me wrong, it's not meta tank, it's not like you would be the living crap out of uh, Baze or something, but it is still alright vehicle. And the best part of all of this, we are not even shooting gold at this point. Okay, type 59, he still has quite a bit of the hit points, so you know what, we are going to load the APCRs, I think this is the correct way to do the things. And I'm spotted. Logically thinking, this guy should sit here. I do not see this anyhow different, you know? Beautiful, very, very nice. If he is going to go for me, which he will. I cannot cry about that. That's fine. It's okay. Let me get the side shot. Oh, come on! Oh, come on, guard. I just said some good things about you. You know what? Never mind. Guard is the worst tank in the world of tanks. I cannot stand this vehicle and I do not understand how others like uh, this tank. I do not even know what to say. Just a stinky pooper, fellas. Just a stinky pooper. You cannot hit a single shot with it. You see? You see, that's what I'm talking about. I would say... This tank is better than Type 59. I'm not joking, I truly mean it. I would say this vehicle is better than a Type 59. Even though you do not have fully rotatable, uh, even though you do not have the turret in the middle and the platform is a bit different, this tank has just a bit different things to offer. And looking into this game, I have a feeling that I wasted my time uh, for spotting for my team because I'm a top dog on the field. So probably it would have been significantly smarter to go on top of the hill and with a DPM setup or I suppose to say with a gun handling setup and just make sure to slap every and each uh, uh, enemy in this way uh, but you know what you are living and you are learning what can you do meanwhile we should be able to get a very very nice side angle right in a moment and we can send him to well deserved rest in the garage beautiful Okay, fellas, and we are back. Beautiful uh, game. 3.2 thousand damage, 1.4 thousand assisting damage. Not a bad thing uh, by any shape or any form. Um, we are top by experience, top by the damage. We made 109 thousand profits, although 40 thousand profits comes from... Um, from completing missions, right? Other than that, we are booming and we are feeling very, very, very well with all of this. Beautiful. Come on. Last game. For the last game, I believe we can uh, we can do four or five thousand. Let's see how the things will go. Skill, you greedy bastard. I know. Tell me more. Okay, I made the decision to go with a spotting equipment here because I have a very very good plan, or maybe stupid plan. We will figure this out in a moment. I'm going to go into the middle, and from the middle we should be able to um, slap everyone who is playing here, and in the same time outspot everyone who is uh, who is making a decision to go towards the magical uh, forest for mushrooms, right? That's what I think. So let's try to do this. We should be all right. Uh, and I believe you noticed that the very first shell which I have loaded is high explosive. 
and there is a reason for that. I'm loading high explosive shell just to say hello for Borat or say hello for enemy light tank. And enemy light tank is saying oh no and I am saying oh yes and he is saying oh no, he is going to turn. Mister? What is wrong with you? Never mind. Um, fellas, there is no light tanks. Um, yeah, interesting. Well, what can I say? It is their team loss. That was uh, that was a bit of the mistake uh, from the from the black dog side. There is nothing but he could change about this. And now, we are going to have a blast. Okay. I see how it is. Uh, pay attention. Pay attention, fellas, how enemy team is playing. Looks like there is a humongous lemming train happening uh, in the other side, which is not necessarily bad. Now watch this pre-aim. I meant to say do not watch this pre-aim. That, uh, that was my fault. Um, let's pretend it never ever happened and we can continue our game like, mm, like it never happened. Beautiful. I am a rusher, yeah, ELC is happy about this per his performance, he is saying, oh my bananas, I never had so much fun, blah, 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 while going through the open field, and you know what, it works, the most important thing, it works, right, now, what we know, we know that enemy team might very well try to cap the base, we are very, very well aware of that, and I think for us, the best case scenario would be to lurk around the shadows over there by knocking as many trees as possible and in the same time prepare to uh, spank someone who will cross like this. Now this is going to be the interesting part. If this ELC will get into the bush in front, he is going to have a monster game and he is going to have a blast. Now, if this ELC won't be able to get into the bush, this is going to be a bit different situation. Okay, listen, I am using my time. Uh oh. I am using my time to knock. Oh, pa, 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 pa. I'm using my time to knock that tree over there, or that building over there, and the main reason being why am I making a decision to play the game like this, I think first of all it is worth it, and second of all, it is worth it. How about that? How about that? Beautiful. Now let the farm begin. I know that on the paper it doesn't look great where this game goes. I am very, very well aware of that. But I want to believe it is definitely going to pay off for us. Uh, pay attention that I loaded um, gold ammunition at this point. And the main reason why am I doing so? I want to hit every and each shot of mine. And I want to slap every enemy as well. How about that? Meanwhile, we have a Suka Pershing here in the middle. Hmm. And how are we supposed to deal with this guy? Oh, hi. Let's take our time. As you can see, I am taking my time. I am aiming properly and after that rest is history. Very nice. Uh, this is capping the base. Now. With a blind shot, I'm going to have high explosives loaded because I really want to find the exact spot where he's uh, staying. Okay, now we know where he's staying. We are getting the sweet assisting damage with the CVS setup and we know that they have a Mr. Shrek over there as well. But you know what? Instead of hitting Shrek, I will hit the star one. Beautiful. It's okay. And we are getting assisting damage to the left, assisting damage to the right. Everything looks pretty good for us. Well, apart a uh, small thing that we are not winning. Oh yes, we are definitely not winning. Okay, this is the moment whenever I need to figure out how to be successful and how to survive this. My mission is to lurk around the shadows over there and to spot every and each guy who is trying to be aggressive. You see, this is this is the um, tank wreck which I am going to use 
in order to protect myself uh, from rushers like this. I will simply go like that and I'm going to use this as a protection. So far, this game is looking very, very, very nice. Is it easy game? No, it's not. But I would say it's beautiful. Excellent. Very, very nice. Now we are using this tank to protect ourselves. And you know what? I'm not even spotted. Very nice. This is what I want to see. Beautiful game. <laughs> and what to do now, Mr. Liss? Making quite a hardcore pressure. If I will shoot, I might get spotted, but I'm up to take the risk. Beautiful shot overall. Let's see how he's spotted. I'm not spotted. Have you noticed how I was waiting until he is going to go uh, in this bush in a way? The main reason what I, why I was waiting for that is because I knew there is a chance that he is not going to spot me. That's what I was looking for and it definitely paid off. Meanwhile, we have a Mr. Shrek who is just going through the middle of the field. Oh! 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 oh. Yep, I see that. I see that list was looking towards my direction. Yeah, I know. I know. That was a great game, fellas. Um, we went with a spotting setup. I think we were behaving like a, a hybrid, uh, I don't know, tank destroyer, spotter, medium, however you would call this kind of play. We were doing damage. We were spotting and it was absolutely gorgeous and it was absolutely amazing. That oh -ho definitely surprised me going through the middle, but what can you do? Not much what I can change about this. Still, nevertheless, I would take game like this anytime instead of getting 5 to 15 uh, garbage. You know, this is the game to die for and this is uh, the battle to play for, at least in my opinion. Let's see the score. Okay, beautiful session. 3.5 thousand damage, 2.8 thousand assisting damage. We got up to 100% of the mark of excellence and I did not even notice, man. Nice. Very, very nice. Overall, enemy team played extremely well. Borat was extremely annoying where the enemy team goes. And overall, enemies did uh, just simply better job. So hip hip hooray for them. Overall, we made 97,000 profits after this. And our session with guard is a very solid 3.1 thousand damage and 1.6 thousand assisting damage. That brings us to 4.7, 4.8 thousand combined. That's absolutely glorious, fellas. Um, I'm telling you, this tank is underrated in my humble opinion. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you had a good time. I definitely did and see you very, very soon. Skill is out for today. Peace.